Hello everyone. Comparison of two similar physical concepts will help us a lot. It may be either in understanding the concept better or in memorizing the formula for entrance examinations. For example, if we remember all formula of gravitation chapter, it will be helpful in studying electric field since both electric field and gravitational field obey inverse square laws. For example, definition of Newton's law of gravitation and Coulomb's law in electrostatics, definition of gravitational potential energy and electrostatic potential energy or definition of gravitational potential, potential or electric potential all are exactly similar. Here I have come up with the, the comparison of electrostatics and magnetostatics. Let us start with Coulomb's law. There is There are two Coulomb's law. One is for electrostatics, other is for magnetostatics. Coulomb's law for electrostatics will tell you that force of attraction or repulsion between two point charges is directly proportional to the magnet product of magnitudes of the charges Q1 and Q2 and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Whereas in the case of magnetostatics, in the place of charge, we have to write pole strength. So force, force of attraction or repulsion between two poles is directly proportional to mag product of magnitude of their pole strengths and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Here we see that the proportionality constant, value of proportionality constant 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is 9, approximately 9 into 10 to the power 9 Newton meter square Coulomb to the power minus 2. In magnetostatics, value of mu naught by 4 pi is 10 raised to minus 7. Here we see that 1 by epsilon naught in electrostatics is replaced by mu naught. Okay. 1 by epsilon naught is analogous to mu naught. And one more interesting thing is the value of 1 by square root of epsilon naught mu naught is equal to approximately 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second which is speed of light. That means the above equations relate electricity, magnetism and optics which was done by James Clerk Maxwell. Now we'll move on to the discussion of uh, dipole, electric dipole and magnetic dipole. In electrostatics, a dipole is defined as two equal and opposite charges separated by small distance. Here you see this is plus Q, this is minus Q. They are equal and opposite. They are separated by a distance. This distance is 2A. Okay. And one more physical quantity is required to represent the direction of electric field, that is electric dipole moment. In magnetostatics, we need magnetic dipole moment. Electric dipole moment is equal to the product of either charge and distance between the charges. In magnetostatics, magnetic dipole moment is equal to pole strength multiplied by magnetic length, that is distance between two poles. Both electric dipole moment and magnetic dipole moment are vector quantities. Electric dipole moment is from negative to positive charge. In general, electric field is from positive to negative or away from positive charge and towards negative charge, but direction of electric dipole moment, moment is uh, from negative charge to positive charge. Uh, similarly, in the case of uh, a bar magnet or a magnetic dipole, outside the magnet, the magnetic field lines are from north to south, but magnetic dipole moment is from south to north. Now we will discuss about uh, the mathematics involved in axial and equatorial electric field of a dipole in the case of electrostatics and magnetostatics. Axial electric field in the case of electric dipole is given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into 2p by r cube. Uh, actual magnetic field is given by mu naught by 4 pi into 2m by r cube. Similarly, equatorial electric field is given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into p by r cube and equatorial magnetic field is given by mu naught by 4 pi into m by r cube. Here we see that the electric dipole moment P is replaced by magnetic dipole moment M and everything else is similar. Now, uh, and, and one more thing that we have to observe here is magnitude of magnitude of actual electric field is equal to 2 times the magnitude of 
equatorial electric field that is if you multiply this equation by 2 its magnitude will become equal to magnitude of axial electric field similarly magnitude of axial magnetic field equal to 2 times the magnitude of equatorial magnetic field now uh, expression for torque acting on electric dipole is given by p cross e torque acting on magnetic dipole is given by m cross b here we see that p electric dipole moment is re replaced by magnetic dipole moment in the case of uh, in the place of uniform electric field we have to write uniform magnetic field since it is a cross product uh, in scalar form we can write it as p sin theta or emb sin theta next if you speak about electrostatic potential energy its expression is minus p dot a in magnetostatics magnetic potential energy is minus m dot b so in scalar form it is p cos p e cos theta and minus m b cos theta here also electric dipole moment p is replaced by m e is replaced by b next uh, gauss law gauss law there is no gauss law in electrostatics gauss law in magnetostatics Gauss law in electrostatics tells us that the total electric flux through a closed surface is equal to 1 by epsilon naught times the charge enclosed by the surface. If uh, that, that is called Gaussian surface and which is also uh, useful to calculate electric field. If the charge enclosed by the Gaussian surface is 0, then the flux is also 0. But in the case of magnetostatics, flux enclosed by a surface is directly equal to 0. Analyzing these equations will clearly tell us that magnetic monopole do not exist. As you have seen now, there is no significant difference between mathematics involved in electric field and magnetic field. So if you study any one field properly, gravitational field or electric field or magnetic field, the rest will become very easy for you. That's it for today's session. Thank you.